Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I take this true scale assault marine and turn it into a relictor's marine. Okay, so this is an assault marine that I added some true scale legs to and a relictor's badge on the pauldron. It's a test piece, so I didn't add any greebles or anything. Well, no pistol holders, no pistol holsters, no grenades, nothing like that. Let's see how it would look in the long run. And I think I like the result, but I'm going to have to find out more when I paint it up. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is take some of this uh, heavy wash that I made out of an Indian ink. I'm just going to douse the sucker. There she is, all dirty and grimy like she's on the run in the Eye of Terror. These are 3D printed legs. From an FDM printer, so you can see some scratches and striations. But I think we can use that for our accenting. Okay, now that the wash is dried, nice and shiny, because I use a wedge based wash, I'm going to dry brush some dirty gray from Reaper all over this sucker. Nice heavy dry brush. And next I'll take some of this concrete gray and I'll dry brush the uppermost parts. Next, I'll come in and I'll paint the metal and the pauldrons black with this Abaddon black. Oh. And I'll paint the metal bits gunmetal grey from Vejo. Next, I'll take some of this Vejo Chrome and I will put it, or mix it in with the gunmetal, brighten up the colors.
Next I'm going to take some dark elf skin from Reaper and I'm going to paint the leathery bits. Well, mixing the chrome with the gunmetal gray didn't quite have the effect I was hoping for. I was looking for more of a bolt gun, lead belcher color. And the chrome is just so magnificently bright. Not all down like I was hoping. That's okay. I'll just go on with a wash and see how it looks after that. So I'll take this light, which I made out of Indian ink. Let's see how that goes on. I'm going to apply it to the metal, and I'm going to apply it to leathery, strappy bits. Now I will highlight the leather and the straps and all those bits with uh, Vejo's Cold Grey. Well, my next step was to highlight all the metal with lead vulture, but this metal is already super highlighted, so I'm just going to touch up. Alright, so I'll skip that usual step. Using lead vulture. Everything is super shiny as it is. Alright, so I'm going to take some of this Reaper solid white. Labels completely disappeared. That's what it is. It's a Reaper solid one. And I'll take this Daler Rowney Scarlet Wash and I'll put it in the lenses. That's all going on. Back with that solid white. Start doing the skull up. Next, I'll take this Vejo red shade and I'll put it in the lenses. I'll put it on the top light too. A bit of this light wash and I'll put it here. Talking that up again. Let those dry. Put a little, put a little wash on this. So dull it down a bit. So it is a bright high definition white. That's for sure. What I'll do is I'll do a bit of highlighting by concrete gray.
3D printedness because they're very jagged formation. that dry. In time I'll go back to my Dark Elf skin. I'll highlight the black a little. white should be dry in the lenses, so I'll come back with just a tiny dab of the scarlet. Still a little mucked up there. That's okay. Well, I pretty much like painted everything I want to paint. This fellow. So now we gotta work on the base. So I'll start with some of my desert debasing mix. Giving them a brownish base. Contrast the stark gray. Really makes them pop out. Try to get a little on the boots. write down what I used to rim the base in my video, so I'm going to say it's woodland brown. It's definitely a brown of some sort. I don't know which one. As always, I'll use my favorite rimming brush. It's a nice, nice chiseled flat. some Agrax Earthshade and I'll apply it over the texture paint. I'll 
take another pass at the rim. While I'm waiting for that base to dry, touch up around the eye here. Some black gray. I'll put a brother third round of paint on rim. Why not? We're just hanging out. Now we're on to the final step. We're gonna dry brush a bit of Vejo Bone White onto the base. Dust up the boots a little. the edges of the rim to sharpen the edge. There we are, she's ready to storm the field. Scoot around our little jetpack. And there we go. A rough and tumble paint scheme for a rough and tumble marine. He's a renegade, all right. Hiding in the eye of Kara, just because they decided to use some demonic weapons to fight the demons. Yeah, I think it's a good plan, but I guess the Imperium didn't think so. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video on painting relic doors. I want to give a big thank you to Kimania Lawson, the dicey guy, who was uh, really inspiring. That chrome, so bright, so beautiful. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!